It feels like yesterday when Todd Howard and Bethesda announced Starfield in 2018 and it still doesn't feel real that I'll be playing it within the next week or so. I'm not cool enough for a review copy and I don't have early access so I'll be playing it when it's officially out on September 6th and I just can't wait to get lost in this world. Bethesda is one of my favorite gaming studios. I'll never forget the first time I played Elder Scrolls Oblivion. I was only 12 years old and it was my introduction like many to Bethesda games. Even with the bugs, the awkward dialogue conversations and this guy man he annoyed me but it was such a charming game and it's a game that i still play to this day skyrim didn't have the same charm to me with his gloomy gray look but it's one of the biggest games ever fallout 3 was mind-blowing for the time and fallout 4 is a game that i personally love and i think is amazing i've replayed that so many times i never understood the hate for that game and fallout 76 we don't speak about that. Starfield is Bethesda's first mainline game since Fallout 4 in 2015, and this game is being compared to Oblivion in terms of being a staple in an actual moment in gaming. Even though we don't really see what our character looks like for most of the game, I'm one of those people that still loves character creation. I'll spend an hour on my character trying to make him look perfect just for him to still be ugly and never see him because I play in first person. I feel like you have to be a psychopath to play any Bethesda game in third person, but moments like background and trace are what gets me excited to create a character and live about my fantasy of being a space explorer you pick a background that gives you a small story along with skill bonuses i can't wait to read them all diplomat bouncer beast hunter ronin gangster i don't know how big of an impact it'll have but we've seen scenarios where the background gets mentioned in the game character traits like kid stuff where you have parents you can visit and send them money neon street rat introvert hero worship man f this guy. On top of that, the level of detail we get in ship customization also looks amazing to me. The same way I was in Fallout 4 with building houses. I love that it's there, but I'm not artistic enough to actually make it look good. I'm gonna love my basic looking ship, even though I'm sure I'll be embarrassed after seeing some of the creations people come up with on the internet. But that's what Bethesda games are great at. I agree with most people when they say they made a mistake by voicing your character in Fallout 4 and kind of forcing his or her story on you. Give us a blank slate and allow us to have free will in how we get the job done. If I want to be a goody two shoes that I should be able to do that. They say you won't be able to complete the entire game without killing, but you can still be non-violent in a lot of situations. If you're like me and you want to be a space bandit, we can do that. In real life, I'm one of the nicest guys you will ever meet, but I'm a bad guy in every game I play. In the Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic games, my characters look like they haven't seen lotion in years. In Mass Effect, the only way to play is Renegade. In Starfield, I want my spaceship to be a force and I'm robbing and killing everyone I come across when possible. Being bad in games are always just more fun to me. While I love Bethesda games, the one area I feel they always miss on is surprisingly the main story. Even though I love the games, I don't like the main story in any of the ones that I've played. So for me, that's Oblivion, Skyrim, Fallout 3, and Fallout 4. Great games, just not good main stories. The side quests, the dungeons, and the world in general are what usually grab my attention. The Dark Brotherhood and Oblivion is my favorite, and I have so many good memories running through Oblivion Gates and robbing people for the Gray Fox. It's one mission in Oblivion for the Dark Brotherhood where you're locked in this house with a bunch of people, and they think it's some sort of game where they're trying to find a hidden treasure. You have to kill the guests one by one without anyone catching you. Those types of creative missions are what I love about these games. Starfield has a number of factors that you can join and that's what I'm looking forward to the most. The one I can't wait to join is the Crimson Fleet because from what I read, they're the group that's kind of like the Space Pirates. I've purposely stayed away from story details but from what I do know about the main quest, it doesn't sound that interesting to me. Not that it's going to be bad or anything but I'm just looking forward to doing everything else more. I already know this game is going to get heavily criticized from people but all I want to do is enjoy this game. Like I've said in my other video game videos, I'm no fanboy. I've always been team Xbox but I'm not going to get on the internet and fight on behalf of a billion dollar corporation who doesn't even really care about me outside of me giving them money. People are talking about the f***ing startup menu for Christ's sakes. I know some people are praying the game is full of bugs, bad combat, whatever. These are one of those gaming moments that the gaming community in general should be celebrating. I don't have a PlayStation or a Nintendo, but I'm always excited whenever I see a game like Zelda or The Last of Us gets released. To me, it makes gaming better and it pushes the culture forward. Some people are complaining because they don't have human-like aliens you can interact with, but who cares? Would it have been cool to have aliens like Mass Effect? Yes. Am I going to cry about it? 
No. I'm just so excited to play this game. I'm using vacation days at work so I can play it some more. I already took off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I've been waiting since 2018 and guys, we are finally here. So pat yourself on the back, give yourself a gold star. We've made it through everything. Hopefully it lives up to the hype and we can keep these positive conversations about this moment going forward. And now we wait for Elder Scrolls 6. Why would they even show that years ago? But thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe if you're new here. We talk about a bunch of different things on this channel. What are you guys looking forward to the most in Starfield? I still can't believe it's almost here. Love you guys. Tell someone you love them. See you in the next life.